Hello there. Today we're going to talk about the 5 most extreme sports in the world. If you're someone who loves a little bit of adrenaline and excitement, then you're in the right place. Are you curious to know what these insane sports are? Then buckle up, because you might be surprised. 1. Wingsuit Flying Have you ever heard of wingsuit flying? If you haven't, get ready to have your mind blown. This extreme sport is practiced by people who jump off a mountain or cliff wearing a special suit that allows them to glide through the air. Yes, that's right. You can fly like a bird and feel the wind in your face while free-falling at high speeds. But be careful. This sport can be extremely dangerous if you don't have proper training. But you know what's interesting about wingsuit flying. Not everyone who practices this sport is also into other extreme activities, such as bungee jumping or skydiving. 2. Base Jumping If you like adrenaline but want something a little more grounded, then maybe base jumping is the right choice for you. In this sport, you jump off a fixed object, such as a bridge or a building, using a parachute to descend safely. Sounds simple enough, right? But things can get really complicated if you don't calculate your fall correctly. There are people out there who only want to jump off bridges and buildings, without even thinking about jumping out of an airplane or flying like a bat. Go figure, right? 3. Big Wave Surfing If you love water, then big wave surfing might be the perfect choice for you. As the name suggests, this sport involves surfing on enormous waves that can reach up to 30 meters in height. Imagine the thrill of surfing on a wave as big as a 10-story building. But keep in mind that this activity can be extremely dangerous and requires a high level of skill and training. That's right, folks. There are surfers out there who only feel fulfilled when they're facing a wave the size of a 20-story building. Just to show who's boss in the sea, you know? And you know what's funnier? These surfers are often so addicted to adrenaline that they can't stay away from the waves even when there are no giant waves. Can you imagine a surfer catching a half-meter wave and screaming, Woohoo, that's radical! That's right, big wave surfing can mess with a person's head. 4. Free Solo Climbing If you're the type who likes to climb mountains, then free solo climbing might be the right choice for you. This sport involves climbing a mountain without the use of safety equipment, such as ropes or carabiners. That's right, you're on your own, relying only on your skills and the strength of your fingers. If you fail, the consequences can be fatal. But you know what's interesting about free solo climbing? Many practitioners are so obsessed with this activity that they end up climbing walls and rocks without safety equipment even during documentary and news filming. It may seem crazy, but it's the reality. And you know what's even funnier? Many of these climbers are so focused on their activity that they forget how dangerous what they're doing really is. Can you imagine someone looking at a 300-meter high rock wall and thinking, oh, this is easy, I'll just climb it like it's nothing. That's right, folks, free solo climbing can mess with a person's head. Would you have the courage to climb a mountain without safety equipment? Or would you prefer to stick with ropes and carabiners? 5. Bull Riding Last but not least, we have bull riding. This sport is popular in the United States and involves riding on top of a wild bull for a certain amount of time while the bull tries to throw the rider off. This sport can be extremely exciting, but it's also very dangerous, as bulls are unpredictable animals and can cause serious injuries. But you know what's funny about bull riding? Many practitioners are so fanatical about this sport that they develop a love-hate relationship with the bulls. They may even get angry when they fall and get trampled, but then they come back to the arena with a smile on their face, ready to face another angry bull. And you know what's even funnier? Many of these bulls have funny names and even distinct personalities. Can you imagine a bull named Pitbull or Hurricane? That's right, folks, bull riding can be a mix of competition and comedy show. So, would you have the courage to try any of these extreme sports? I think I'll stick to my comfort zone and continue watching these crazy activities on my computer screen. But if you're the type who loves a bit of adrenaline, then go ahead and try it out. Just remember to always practice safely and follow the precautions recommended by professionals. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video about the 5 most extreme sports in the world. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you know of any sport that's even more insane than these, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until next time.